Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This video is a bit different than the other videos I've done so far. It's less of a tutorial and more just walking through my build process on this particular DIY. In November, I got a message from Matt Pentagraph asking if I'd like to compete against him in a build off, making our own versions of Havoc Triads. I jumped on the opportunity. Not only did it sound like fun competing against somebody in a build off, but I'd wanted to make my own version of Havoc Triads for a while. So for me, it's a win-win. Once you're done with this video, head over to Matt's channel and check out his version. They actually turned out pretty cool too. Safety first. Wear a dust mask. Wear eye protection. Wear hearing protection. DIY projects are awesome, but being safe is even more awesome. Okay, I'm using three quarter inch plywood for the sides. I start off by cutting nine and a half inch strips with my table saw. I take those strips to the miter saw and cut four equilateral triangles. These will be the sides of my dumbbells. I choose one of those triangles as my template. I use a table router and a flush trim bit to trace my template. This step ensures that all of my triangle pieces will be identical. I repeat this step with the other triangles. In the end, I have four identical triangles. I use a hand router and a roundover bit to round the edges. I go over all of the edges on both sides of each triangle. Next, I cut my dowels. I'll be using different sizes for the handles. My plan is to drill shallow holes into my plywood for the dowel handles to sit in. In order to make sure all of the pieces line up properly, I use a combination square to mark where I'll be drilling. I drill a two inch hole into one of the corners on each piece. This shallow hole is a quarter inch deep. I remove that bit, put in an inch and a half bit, and drill a shallow hole into the second corner of each triangle. The last hole size is an inch and a quarter. This goes into the third corner of each triangle. After those are done, I drill through the center. Then I flip them over and drill the same holes on the back side. So far, all of these design elements are pretty similar to the Havoc design, but this is where I split off. While I was researching these dumbbells, I came across the Garage Gym Reviews video. In that video, Coop's biggest complaint was the inconvenience of changing weight plates. I decided to add Olympic weight sleeves. This makes changing weights easy, and I can use the weight plates I already own. I use a two inch Forstner bit and drill shallow holes on both sides in the center. I sand the plywood pieces before assembling. The weight sleeves need to be attached first. After adding plenty of wood glue, I pre-drill, add washers, and secure it with a two inch lag screw. Same process with the other side. Once the weight sleeves are secured, I can start placing the handles. My dowel grips are two inch, one and a half inch, and one and a quarter inch. Not exactly the same as the triads, but they still give a decent amount of variety. In order to make sure everything holds, I add lots of wood glue to each joint before securing with lag screws. I chose to spray everything with truck bed liner. This is the best idea I could come up with to give the handle some actual grip, and it seems like it's pretty similar to what's on the original design. I don't want that grip on the weight sleeves, so I cover them with masking tape. It goes on just like spray paint. I ended up doing about three coats to give the handles as much grip as I could. When I remove the masking tape, I see that the bed liner bled onto the sleeves. This isn't a huge problem. After sanding them a little bit, I add a dark wood stain. The color I'm using is espresso. It's dark enough to mask the little bit of bed liner on the weight sleeves. I give them a day to dry and they're good to go. Overall, they work well. 
They each weigh about three and a half pounds, so they are pretty light, but they're easy to load and the weight sleeves are long enough to get several plates on each side. And they're still shorter than the Rogue DB15 loadable dumbbells. The total length is about 19 inches. The only downside to this design is that you'll not be able to load it onto your barbell. I feel like most people probably won't utilize that feature, so it's a fair trade. Total cost to build is between $30 and $40 in materials. Okay, so I can't directly compare to the Havocs. I've never actually used those before, but I can say that these have the same key features. Three different grip size options, adjustable weight, and different loading positions. As always, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, head over to Matt's channel and watch his too. Pretty awesome, thank you.